Glory be to Jesus Christ, the resurrection and the life. My name is Witness Ken Paul Obieke. Uh, this is Heaven's Mandate's uh, Revival Before Rapture. Very important telecast in this end time. I have been on the series uh, titled Errors of the End Time. Many of us are walking in errors. Most people are going to end in error. And so we are taking out in this uh, series, in these episodes, to uh, pinpoint these very errors. And I have been dwelling on testing all spirits uh, as the Bible has commanded, which uh, uh, most people have neglected. I, I, I possibly will round up with this and don't move into the, the, the next uh, uh, part of the series, which has to do with uh, the topic uh, 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 titled Another Bondage. But today, I want to uh, begin to round up the, 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 the uh, testing of the spirits uh, in, uh, in the series of uh, Errors of the End Time. Uh, the, so the Lord, the Bible made us to understand in First John chapter four verse one that we should test all spirits uh, to know whether they are of God. But uh, ironically, most of us are not doing that at all. And the Word of God in First Thessalonians chapter five verse twenty one said, "Prove all things and hold fast that which is good." We are holding fast anything, anything, anyhow, whatever, whatever, whatever. I, demonic materials, uh, you know, uh, you know, messages that have nothing to do with God, so-called divine revelations, even coming from marine spirits, because they talk of heaven and hell, and then uh, all things, all manner of rubbish, because uh, you, uh, most of the people have, uh, you know, uh, not allowed themselves to be led by the Spirit of God. And so, uh, I want you to quickly follow me to Matthew chapter number twenty-four, Matthew twenty-four. And like I said, we are beginning to round up uh, this uh, very uh, message on testing uh, the spirits uh, under the, 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 the series of uh, um, uh, errors of the end time. Uh, Matthew chapter 24, I read from verse 3, and it says, And as he sat upon the Mount of Olives, that is talking about Jesus Christ, the disciples came unto him privately, saying, Tell us, when shall these things be? And what shall be the sign of thy coming and of the end of the world? I want you to take note of the, 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 the question that the disciples of Jesus Christ came to him in privacy to ask him. And so in verse 4, the Bible said, And Jesus answered and said unto them, Take heed that no man deceive you. Now, I want you to take note that deceit and deception will form the, 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 the height of uh, uh, the greatest weapon that the devil will be using in this end time. He said, take heed that no man deceive you. Now, most of the people that you see today as ministers of God are deceivers. I do not have any apology to say that. Because I know what I'm talking about. Go and prove it. It's either they are deceiving you with their preachcraft, manipulating you with the word of God, or telling you lies in hypocrisy, lies that look as if it is true. And that is why the church is in a mess, our society is in a mess, even the government is not left out, because they are all part of the society. Now, the word of God says, For many shall come in my name, Saying, verse 5, I am Christ and shall deceive many. Take note, many shall come in my name, saying, I am Christ and shall deceive many. Many shall come born from the marine kingdom. Many shall come from a court world. 
Many shall come from different places saying, I am Christ. In other words, I am of Christ. Or rather, pretending to be of Christ. Take note of the word, many. So that when I say that you should take note that most of us are deceivers, no matter what we say, you will not understand where I am coming from. I am a living witness of Jesus Christ, who have met Christ numerous times, both physically and spiritually, have been taken to heaven and to hell, and I cannot say anything I'm not sure of. I can only speak the truth, irrespective of who is consigned. Now, the word of the Lord said that many, in verse 5, for many shall come in my name. So, if anybody claims to have come in the name of Jesus, or speaking in his name, that is not enough for acceptance. Because that is what the devil will use. That is what the enemy we use to deceive those who are, you know, uh, who are simple hearted, those who are not designing, those who are not testing the spirits. And he went on and said in verse 6, And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars, see that ye be not troubled. For all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. You find out that most of the time, these merchants of fear, what they bring to you are things that will make you afraid. The other time I saw a text message. He said uh, the angels that are to blow the trumpet of rapture, that they have left heaven and they are on the way. You see, they try to put fear in you to bring you under the bondage of fear. And under this bondage you will never make heaven. If the angels have left heaven and they are on the way to earth, today they have not come. Is there distance in the spirit? Why do they have to leave heaven and then travel as if they are going to uh, Cameroon? You see, these things, these things are all deceits. Yes, yes, the rapture is going to happen suddenly. Jesus Christ is almost here. It's going to, there's not going to be any, any text message. And that is why if you are not prepared now, if you are not ready now, you are, you are done for. If you don't get yourself ready now for rapture, you are finished. There's no text message. There's nobody that's going to tell you how it, it, it is going to happen suddenly. And so the angels that they saw that left with, uh, you know, uh, they left uh, Cameroon and they are going to uh, uh, Jamaica. These are all rubbish and nonsense. And you need to mature to the point that you don't listen to those things. Stop buying those useless CDs. They will mislead you apart from corrupting your soul. And now, the Bible said, for nations shall rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom and there shall be famines and pestilence and earthquakes in diverse places all these are the beginning of sorrow all these are beginning of sorrow now i want to take you back to what jesus christ said in verse 4 and verse 5 because that is where i want your eyes of understanding to open much more and jesus answered and said unto them Take it that no man deceive you. Now, whoever you are now, listen to me. I want you to understand that there is a possibility that somebody is deceiving you. And why? You are not testing the spirit. You are not proving all things. So somebody is possibly deceiving you in the name of the Lord. Now, this word is stop just going to church. Christianity is not churchianity. Most of us are made churchgoers that are not Christians. This book is going to bless you mightily. This one is the judgment day. The Lord showed me the judgment queue and how the great, the small, we are judged. You need to know about this so that you can stand on that day. This one is called Tears in Heaven. The book of life was shown to me empty and Jesus Christ began to shed tears of blood. And convert the book of life. It's a book when you read. If you are still of the Lord. Your heart will be broken. With what is happening. Now this one is called satanic churches. Most of the churches you have today are satanic. Because the counterfeit Jesus. Is what they are worshipping. Even in ignorance. Satanic churches is a book. That is a spiritual time bomb. When you read it. You understand what I'm saying.
And so verse 5 says, For many shall come in my name, saying, I am Christ, and shall deceive many. And shall deceive many. Now look at these deceitful materials, uh, CDs and books and messages flying everywhere. Why? Because some of us have decided to escape from the Aphilorite preachers, preaching people to hellfire. From people who will stand on the pulpit behind them to push people inside the pit. You are entertaining sinners. You are seeing vision and prophesying to them. Receive your jeep. Amen. You are going to build mansion on, on, on the water. Amen. The, worst, the only time they see evil thing for you is when they want to now put you in a tight corner to collect money from you. Now, uh, people want to escape from that. And now the devil has ambushed them the other side. They want to escape. They want to sincerely make heaven. And so these ones now have positioned themselves. The devil is now using them to trap these ones again. All these deceits, all these deceptions are because you are not testing the spirit. How can a pastor who says of God be preaching from January to December? He does not preach about hellfire. He does not preach about hell. It does not preach about rapture. It does not preach about holiness. It does not preach about righteousness. It does not preach about repentance. Repentance is the beginning and the end of Christianity. Any, Christ, any so-called Christian that has not repented is going to be painted in hellfire. It doesn't matter whether you're a bishop and we have many bishops that are not repented. Unconverted ministers. Unconverted ministers all over the place. You hear them preach. It is not as if Jesus Christ is coming. You hear them preach. They cannot uh, bring the image of Christ into anybody. Their words, their words, their messages cannot sanctify anybody. You sit under them as a prostitute, you tie it by two. You sit under them as a liar, you get worse. This cannot, these cannot be messengers of God. These cannot be walking for Christ. It is time to begin to test all spirits. There is spirit of error, like I pointed out when I started this very episode. There is spirit of truth. There are spirits that are coming from the marine world. There is witchcraft spirit. There are different types of spirits that are operating. There is even spirit of worldliness. When you see a pastor that is a motivational speaker, making you feel good in your sin. Making you feel alright in your journey to hellfire. You wouldn't need me to tell you that this person is a deceiver. Prophecies from familiar spirits. All manner of visions. All they are interested in is how to acquire all the things of this earth. But the home in heaven is not their focus. Jesus Christ said, I have gone. To prepare a place for you in heaven. And I'm coming to take you home. If Jesus is coming to take us home. What are we supposed to be doing? We are supposed to be preparing. We are supposed to be getting ready. We are supposed to get everything in order. Because he is coming for a church without wrinkle and spot. The church we have today. Has bleached herself. Beyond recognition. That the bridegroom cannot be able to recognize her again. You need nobody to tell you that this church we have today cannot be raptured because it's already captured by the world. What is going on in the churches today, the type of things that are coming from even our religious leaders are terrible. Recently, there was noise everywhere. A son of one of the general overseers that have been well respected an apostle of holiness went to do a worldly wedding and everywhere scattered. In that church, nobody has ever done that kind of wedding before. And the Facebook faced the church. And there was no type of nonsense they did not say about the church. Some say, this is hypocrisy. How come it is his own son, not his own not his own houseboy, his son brought up under him. 
that this thing came from. Some said, are they suspending them now after uh, honoring the, the wedding? They were there, they saw everything. Every manner of thing is going on. And that is why in the time we are in now, as crucial as it is, you need to get back to testing all spirits. Nobody should follow anybody anymore like a fool. If you look at all the arguments from all the quarters and then check who is involved, you will know that the devil has really entered the church. You cannot believe that such thing can happen in such a place. That is to let you know the extent of the damage. That is to let you know the extent that the devil is ready to go. Some are for. Some says the poor boy has realized that Christianity is not a bondage and decided to you know, you know, you know, enjoy himself. Some the other side said, no, but the standard of the church is not this. And this is what many people have been prevented from. And now how come it's coming from the same house, from the same person, from even another senior pastor whose daughter is involved and uh, they are all of the same, uh, of the same denomination. Now, I'm not surprised. <laughs> kingdom will rise against kingdom. <laughs> family will rise against family. But all that is going to help anybody is to begin to test the spirit, follow the spirit of God, understand it that man is vulnerable. The only thing that will stand is the word of God. Doctrine and dogmas will not stand. Jesus Christ is the only one we are completing and who if we look up to, we will not fail. One day, I was invited to a church, not knowing that the pastor of the church is a black snake. Now, in the night, the Lord showed me a very big black python. I said, this is the pastor. I was asking the Lord, why did you not show me this before coming? Because if he had shown me this before my coming, I would have not come. He said, I did not show you so that you can come and set free my people that are under this bondage. I flew all the way to Abuja to this very program. The Lord did not tell me anything. In me, I, was, I didn't feel well to go to that very program. But the Lord didn't tell me anything. It, but I was feel led to go until in the night when I was sleeping. The pastor, a big python, black. And the Lord said, look at him. He's swallowing my people. I have sent you here to set my people free. By morning time, when he saw my face and discovered that I have known who he is, he was running away from me. By, night, by evening, when I went to minister, I stood there and declared things as it was and set the people free. It didn't take time. God exposed him, naked him, and he's on the run as I'm talking now. Praise God. I want to bring you these heavenly materials. The Lord wants to use them to bless you and to help you at this end time. This one is called Strive to Enter. It's a book you will not afford to miss. The revelations there that will enable you to make heaven. This one is called Behold I Come Quickly. The, the, it's, it's, everyone that has read this book has a lot to say. And the one thing about my books, they are, they are not just letters divine revelations he said behold i come quickly now this one is time is finished i saw the angels that are meant to blow the trumpet of rapture with trumpets written time is finished and the lord shook the head and told me the time is finished go now and do something this book will save you a lot this one is you and your pastor must hear this it is a book that those who have read got born again and again, even including pastors that really want to make heaven. You and your pastor must hear this. This book is my latest, one of my latest books. Just 
out the highest height of the sea. In this highest height of the sea, you will see how the devil and his cohorts have taken over everywhere in the sea. Even preaching holiness and righteousness. Even doing what? Bringing so-called divine revelations and so-called undesigning Christians. Christians who are too lazy to test the spirits are buying their CDs and initiating themselves to hellfire. They do not know that when you watch these CDs, when you look at these things, listening to them, that they grab your soul. Corruption and pollution of another level is what the devil is using now to have his soul for hellfire. What is going on in the church in this time we are in? If you do not test the spirits, my dear, I'm telling this before God and before heaven. You will never escape. You will never make it. And I've made you to understand that the devil has transformed himself according to the scripture into an apostle of light and his ministers into ministers of righteousness so that humanly you cannot be able to identify them. Go back to the Holy Spirit. Get filled with the Spirit. Begin to keep a relationship with the Holy Ghost. Jesus Christ is alive. He comes to me. He meets with me. He talks to me. He is alive. He's more real than anybody. You need to understand that what is needed in this hour is not denominationalism, it's not churchianity, unquote. What is needed now is personal relationship with Jesus Christ. That is what will make you to escape. Test all spirit. Prove all things. Look at the devil. Understand that he has disgusted himself. He is right now inside the church. The spirits that are operating in most of us are not the spirit of God. If you are a worldly pastor, you are worldly because the spirit that has possessed you is not the spirit of God. If the spirit of Christ is in you, moderation will be what will be the order where you are. If the spirit of Christ is in you, you will, you will be conscious of the cross, not face cap. You will be conscious of the crown of glory that is awaiting you, as Paul said. What is going on now? The extent of pollution is too much. A lady came to confess to a pastor friend of mine what is going on between her and the pastor. She said before this pastor friend of mine in this Lagos that when this man started befriending her, uh, the pastor of that church started befriending her, that their agreement was that her kingdom, the marine, is, will, will uh, blossom his church. And um, the, the, the contract between them was that all that the members are going to be initiated, the number of members that are going to be initiated was agreed, agreed on. The pastor friend who uh, this lady come to confess to us here, he said he's a respected minister here in, the, in, the, in Lagos here. He never believed that this pastor who he knew, who comes to him, was into this. He answers a prophet and he can prophesy. And so this lady came and said he has aborted for her five, him five times. Brought out the 50,000 naira that he gave him for the next abortion because he was pregnant. And now her annoyance was that this man has left her and is now sleeping with other of their members, members in the marine kingdom, whom she brought to help to blow up the church, to make the church to grow. He's now sleeping with her, so she was angry. And then came now to this pastor to, re, you know, to report. And I happened to be in the office of the pastor, you know, you know, uh, you know on, a, on a visit. And I held my hand. The pastor himself was shocked. Before we could even pray for her, the manifestation, she almost destroyed everything in the office there. This is the church we are talking about. How will you escape if you don't test the spirits? How can you? May the Lord help you to understand this message. As I'm rounding up this series on testing all spirits, that you will from now begin to test all spirits and prove all things so that you will not end 
in the belly of the wolves in sheep clothing. God bless you till I see you next week. This one is called Meet Jesus Life. Most of us don't know that they can meet Jesus Christ one on one. And I have had that experience and still having it all the time. And people who have been under my administrations have met Jesus Christ physically and spiritually. And he solved their problems, gave them things that nobody can give to them. And the book will help you to know Christ more as a living person that you can interact with. And then stop being fooled by false prophets. Ask anybody that has read this book. It is, it is doing wonders in people's lives. This one is 99% of ministers and churches on the way to hellfire. There was an SOS meeting. And the Lord Jesus Christ came out to drive away many ministers, big ministers that have been respected, and send them to condemnation because they, we are being held accountable for what is happening in the church. It's a book you will read, you must read. Now, this one is called The Battle of Sexual Immorality. You don't need anybody to tell you that there's a battle going on, even in the church, even the pulpit has lost the battle. Our schools are high prostitutions, not high institutions. The churches, the choir, everywhere is polluted with sexual immorality. You will find out why. And then find out how to escape. There is a poison called Izana that is in the body of most people you see who are fornicators now. This book will open your eyes like you have never known before. This is pure prosperity. There is no child of God that is meant to be poor. But pure prosperity is not about material things only. This book will teach you on how to prosper spiritually, physically, and otherwise. It will teach you how you can get everything that the Lord has for you in the area of prosperity that is meant to be total, not just one-sided. It's a must read. This one is called Prepare for Rapture. If you are not preparing for rapture, then you are preparing for capture. It is a book that those who have read have repented and got born again, again, and again. Because if you are not ready, you are not going to make it. This book with the revelations and everything inside it will bless you so much. This book is my latest, one of my latest books. Just out. The highest height of the seat. In this highest height of the seat, you will see how the devil and his cohorts have taken over everywhere in the seat. Even preaching holiness and righteousness. Even doing what? Bringing so-called divine revelations and so-called undesigning Christians. Christians who are too lazy to test the spirits are buying their CDs and initiating themselves to hellfire. They do not know that when you watch these CDs, when you look at these things listening to them, that they grab your soul. Corruption and pollution of another level is what the devil is using now to have his souls for hellfire.